Hello Traria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome to ChippyCraft. Now in this little series, each episode I will show you guys a bunch of different mods for Terraria. These can be awesome, these can be funny, these can be ridiculous. Now today's theme for ChippyCraft is mods that will change the way you play, so you can try Terraria in a whole new way way so this is going to be our little hub world for testing all of these mods unfortunately though all of the mods in this actual episode are all ones that we actually need different worlds for but welcome guys to our brand new series so today we're testing three mods we're testing the skyblock island mod we're testing the expedition mod and we are also testing the T-Race mod. Three pretty awesome mods. So, let's jump into the first one. Okay, so the first mod we're taking a look at in our brand new series is the Expedition mod. So, this is a little mod that I actually really like. It's a mod that adds a bunch of different quests into Terraria, but it will encourage you from the moment you start to actually just relax and enjoy the game a little bit. So I'm going to actually activate one of these quests. I've actually done a few of them already, but uh, I had to kind of, you know, use a new character to show this off. But to actually kickstart this mod, you just need an expedition table. Now this is crafted at a crafting station for 20 wood, and once you have one of these placed in the world, you'll be able to start monitoring and tracking quests. So let's take a look at this. Welcome to Terraria! Hey, you're new here as well. I recently got assigned to Splosions, but this wasn't the cushy desk job I was expecting. You any good at house building? I can't focus at all with all these slimes around. Goals, build a house for an NPC to move in. The reward is one silver coin and an expedition log. Complete! So there you go, you get a little firework as well. Thanks for setting up some shelter. I've got tons of random shipments from my employer to help discover land and collect samples, but I'm no good at adventuring. Would you be interested in helping? In exchange, I'm sure you could use the stuff I have lying around somewhere. And then the next one is Cave Exploration Kit. So this is cool. When you get down far enough, the walls around you should look more grey and rocky. That's the cavern layer. When you get there, report back to me or the expedition board and I can deliver some useful mining equipment. So this is giving you a little reward just for doing basic things in Terraria, but it's also kind of, you know, making sure that you progress in Terraria in a nice route. So this is actually one of the NPCs that come along with the mod. Um, you actually get it just like the drunken tavern keep. You find it just lying on the floor. Hello, Jolene. How do I post expeditions on every notice board? Magic. Right, so just off the bat, you sell an expedition log, a gold pickaxe, a golden axe, a wayfarer's sword, a pike, a bow, and a carbine. Now, I believe that you actually add more items that she sells by doing the quest. So, you can actually use her as the expedition board. So, you can take a look at her here. Uh, or, you can use the log, which is just a portable version. And you can actually track these. So, when you actually make progress towards them, or you actually complete them, you'll get a notification at the bottom of the screen saying, Hey, you've uh, you've done this. Right, so we're going to do the cavern layer one. We're using Tim the Fisherman from one of our older series here. So, let's reach the cavern layer. And uh, let's report back. Right, Expedition Tracker, Cave Exploration Kit, enter the underground, accomplished. Right, so let's go and uh, let's go and get our reward. So for this one, we actually got a bit of copper armor, right? All right, it's still in progress. We haven't reached the cavern layer, right? We have a little bit more to go, and then we can get ourselves some sweet, sweet, sweet gold, well, copper armor. Right, I'm going to keep going, and we're going to hand this in. Okay, so the quest is complete, let's go and hand it in, and let's get our reward. Right, so, expeditions, complete. Bam, and you get all these uh, nice little things, and you can move on to the next quest. So the next quest is a demon's metal. Hey, do you think the corruption hides some ore that could be made into a workable metal? I mean, it's a possibility, considering how it transforms things. Please investigate. So this is basically like, go and get some Demonite Ore. Now obviously, a lot of people just wait until they kill the Eye of Cthulhu to get Demonite Ore. Like I said, this mod is encouraging you to play Terraria in a different way, and that's by exploring. So I would recommend this one to people who have not played much Terraria, or just need to look at it from a different angle. So, on to the next mod. 
So the second mod we're taking a look at is the T-Race mod. Now, whenever you start a playthrough for Terraria, everybody starts off the exact same. I mean, you can customize your look, but we all start off with 100 HP, we all start off with 20 mana, and we don't have any special prefixes which will give us an advantage or disadvantage depending on how you want to look at things. Now, with the T-Race mod, this actually allows you to customize your character the second you start a playthrough so that throughout your adventure, you can kind of change and adapt your playstyle. Maybe if you're going for a one weapon challenge approach where you only use one class of weapons, you know, you can maybe use this mod in conjunction with that to give yourself a little bit more of a customizable character. So when you actually start off on this mod, you get a empty charm. Now, with this charm, you can make a bunch of different races. So let me just read some of these out to you. Angelic, Flame, Dark, Dwarvish, Elven, Breeze, uh, you know, earthen, <laughs> blazing, damp, gnomish, goblinoid, half-sized, scale, orcish, cat's eyes, and devils. So each one of these actually has a bunch of advantages and slight disadvantages. So I'm actually going to go for one that I've actually got the full specifications for, and that's the orc. So the orc are tall, strong, and ugly characters. They are four blocks tall, but that's not implemented yet. They have 50 more HP, 20 less mana, they deal 2 times more melee damage, they do 50% less magic damage, they have dark vision, they have a titan potion effect, and they also have tusks, which is something that is not implemented yet. So what you do is you take your empty charm and you craft yourself a full charm. So this is the orcish one. And we can equip it like this. It goes into your accessory slot for now. But in the future, it's actually going to be its own little thing. But we're taking a look at the beta version of it. So as you can see, we have 150 health. So that's already a little bit of an advantage. But look, we have no mana. And that means that we can't just magic mirror our way home. You know, we're kind of screwed. So we need to get some fallen stars. And uh, forever, we will, fit, we will do 50% less magic damage so it takes away that kind of you can be whoever you want to be in terraria no this guy is 100 percent equipped for melee and uh, i really like that and there's actually a bunch of different races as you guys saw and they're implementing a feature that will add block size into it so your character could be shorter or taller and that's something i've wanted to see ever since red mentioned it in a very early terraria let's play that he did with the uh, current member at the team called blue they spoke about how races would be quite cool, but uh, we never got it. So it, that's completely okay, though, because this mod kind of adds it in. So that's the second mod, and it's called T-Race. So for our third and final mod, I'm actually showing this one off completely blind. And now that's because this is a adventure map, but it's also a mod pack combined. So it's kind of like Super Terraria World, just on a really small scale. So this is like the standard Skyblock adventure map that you would find in Minecraft, or there are other ones pottering around for Terraria. But this one comes with a few unique modded items. Now, I don't have them, but I will talk about them just real quick as I set up this little obsidian generator, even though I can't actually mine obsidian right now. So one of the items that this actually, well, one of the things this actually comes with is it actually comes with fertilizer. Now, this is actually something I have here. This will allow you to grow trees back instantaneously, which is super useful. Well, it has a small chance to let you do that. There's also copper wire, which is used to make machinery. There are multi-tiled machines, which are used to automate collections from obsidian slash honey block or crispy honey block farms, which is pretty cool. There's also an auto fisher, which is amazing. And I would love to see this on my fishing playthrough, which will allow you to just leave it at the side of some water with some bait in it and it will fish for you. Like that is brilliant. Like it's as simple as it is. But that sounds really awesome, like for people who want to do a fishing playthrough, just that one little item could be really, really useful and make the whole experience a little bit nicer. There's also red and white thread, which I used to craft a few new little cosmetic items, and then there are a few new plants. I thought this one was awesome, but I also wanted to leave it kind of bare and not talk about it too much, because like I say, it's an adventure map. It's what you do with it. So I want you to go out and try this one and let me know how you get on with Skyblock Adventure. I know I'm going to be playing through the whole thing 
and I can't wait to do it because I've actually seen some later things from it and it looks awesome. So, back to the hub world. So that's about it for our first episode of ChippyCraft. Now in the next few episodes, we're going to be taking a look at some really big mods. We're going to take a look at mods that add full leveling systems. We're going to take a look at mods that add tons of new bosses, crazy weapons, and all of that extreme stuff. I just want to talk about the little mods for now. I want to talk about the little niche ones that will enhance the game in a smaller way. But as we come up to new episodes in the future, we're going to get bigger, we're going to get grander, and Honestly, it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, guys, thank you all for checking out this a brand new video of mine. If you're new around here, make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking subscribe to Chippy Gaming, you're in the one-stop place for all your Terraria needs. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.